Hello and welcome to Bunkum Monthly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Well, the snow is melting and we're coming to you from Pack Square Park to tell you all about these great happenings. Now, to hear everything that I'm going to tell you in today's show again, just visit our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're at our newly designed website, you'll find quick and easy links to everything from an events calendar, health alerts, our service directory, library catalog, the latest news, and much more. To catch this episode again, or to watch any of BCTV's original programs, visit buncombecounty.org slash bctv, or check out our YouTube page at buncombecounty.org slash youtube. Well, the AARP Tax Aid Program is back. This is a program in cooperation with the IRS, the NC Department of Revenue, and the Council on Aging of Buncombe County to offer free tax assistance for low- to middle-income taxpayers with special attention to the elderly. These services will be available from February 2nd to April 15th, and taxes filed will be electronically filed for safe and accurate preparation and faster refunds. I'm showing you the times and locations for the assistance on the screen right now. To see the list online, assuming you don't write shorthand, visit buncombecounty.org. You will need to bring your photo ID for you and your spouse, social security card, proof of health coverage, W-2 for each employer, 1099 forms, and any other tax receipts or information that's necessary. Also, make sure to bring a voided check for a direct deposit of any refund. The Buncombe County Department of Health and Human Services want to remind you to have your pet's rabies vaccine up to date. There was a recent case of rabies in Black Mountain when a family dog was roaming around the neighborhood and its vaccine wasn't up to date. So here's a short video to tell you about what you should know about rabies. Rabies vaccinations are very important because it is a zoonotic disease, meaning that humans can contract it, and it is nearly always fatal. Um, so anything, any dog or cat over the age of four months in the state of North Carolina must be vaccinated. Rabies is a preventable viral disease, but it is also incurable once someone is infected. So the intent of the work at the health department is to prevent as many rabies cases as we possibly can, but then to follow up when there are animal bites. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to either quarantine or euthanize pets who have not been vaccinated. And then we also work with humans who have been exposed to make sure they get the medication they need to prevent them from becoming infected. Some people think that, um, you know, it's like any other disease. I'll wait till symptoms develop and then I'll get treatment. You can't do that with rabies. Uh, it's survival's rare. Once symptoms develop, it's already in the central nervous system uh, and it moves very rapidly at that point. Uh, there is no treatment for it. Um, it. It People succumb to coma usually and death is pretty rapid after symptoms develop. If you are bit by an animal, whether it's wild or domestic, you need to wash that wound immediately. That's the most important thing you can do, is wash it with soap and water, running water for 15 minutes. It helps to get rid of a lot of the virus and could be germs that are there too. Uh, and then seek immediate attention. One is calling your local health department and getting some answers to questions. Is it a wild animal? Can animal control obtain it and hold it um, or submit it for testing? There are many low-cost clinics in this area. The Asheville Humane Society does provide them once a month. Um, and you can contact the Asheville Humane Society for the location and hours. Um, and the Sheriff's Department also does provide them throughout the county. And speaking of rabies vaccinations, if your pet's vaccine isn't up to date, the Buncombe County Sheriff's Office offers a low-cost clinic for rabies vaccinations for your pet every month. It will take place on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to noon at the Tractor Supply on Old Brevard Road. There will be another clinic on the same day at the Tractor Supply on Monticello Road in Weaverville from 1 to 3 p.m. Rabies vaccinations are just $10. You can also get combo Bordetella shots for dogs and FELV combo shots for cats. For more information, please call 828-553-5792 or visit buncombecounty.org slash sheriff. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs and cats like Smitty here who are in need of a good home. Now when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training.
The Asheville Humane Society is dedicated to promoting the compassionate treatment of animals in our community through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society's Adoption Center at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to see all of the wonderful animals we have for adoption. This is Hart. Doesn't he look cute up there playing? And he's a three-year-old boy, domestic short hair, and he loves to play. Baby Girl is a nine-month-old pit mix female, and she is just high energy and ready to play. Oh, and that perfect sits because of a treat. She likes her treats. Meet Reese. This three-year-old female is looking for a diet buddy, and she's such a love bug. Spike is a three-year-old retriever mix, and he's currently under treatment for heartworms. He needs a place to chill out for a while. Nibble is a two-year-old female domestic short hair, and just look at those beautiful eyes. You know you want to wake up to those every morning. Honey is a three-year-old pit mix, and look at her markings. She is beautiful with the sweetest smile. Poof is a three-year-old domestic medium hair boy, and my, is he handsome. Eve is a four-year-old Australian cattle dog. She came in and gave birth moments after she arrived, and now it's her turn. Elvis is a 12-year-old domestic short hair, and Elvis just wants to sing your blues away. Meet Dobie. This Argentina Dogo is two years old, and he came in with a mangled leg, which had to be amputated. This tripod is ready to settle into his new home. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001, or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. Now, Mission Hospital is a great place to go if you're having an emergency, of course. But did you know that they also offer many classes that increase the well-being of our community? One of which is a class if you're going to have knee surgery coming up, and it's called Perks. It takes place every Monday through Thursday from 3 to 4.30 p.m. as well as every Tuesday and Friday from 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Mission Hospital Orthopedic Unit at 509 Biltmore Avenue. Perks is a free preoperative class to help you prepare for your surgery. For more information about this or other classes like this, please visit mission-health.org. Buncombe County Parks and Rec is currently looking for volunteers to help them out in the garden. It's not only a great way to help others out, but it's also a great opportunity for new gardeners to learn the basics of plant and vegetable gardening. In late March and early April, volunteers will meet at the Sand Hill Garden to begin preparing the beds to be planted with cool weather crops. There are two scheduled workdays each week, Wednesdays from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and Saturday mornings from 9 to 11 a.m. Community garden members are asked to provide their emails and to stay in touch with each other about upcoming tasks and events. For more information and exact dates, contact Lynn Pegg at lynn.pegg at buncombecounty.org. Or you can call the Parks and Rec Department at 828-250-4260. The Council on Aging of Buncombe County is a great resource for the elderly of our community. It's also great for caregivers and family members of the elderly. They sponsor many great classes throughout the year, one of which is on Medicare called Medicare Choices Made Easy. So if you're new to Medicare or if you just need a refresher, make sure to sign up. There will be four sessions in March, two at local libraries. On March 18th at 2 p.m., the South Buncombe Library will host a class, and on March 25th at 2 p.m., the Black Mountain Library will host. For directions, dates, locations for the other classes, visit their website at coabc.org. These information sessions are free and open to the public. The information presented is unbiased and accurate with no products being sold, recommended, or endorsed. For more information, call the Council on Aging of Buncombe County at 828 277-8288. So if you want to save money at the grocery store, prepare quick and easy meals, and get a better understanding of the nutrition that you get from your food, then the Cooperative Extension Office of Buncombe County's Eat Smart, Move More program is for you. The next class is taking place on Thursday, April 2nd at 10 a.m. at the Mount Morency Church at 89 Old Candler Road in Candler. Each participant will receive useful kitchen tools, and those who attend all five classes will receive a certificate of completion and an FNEP cookbook. Best part, the classes are free. For more information, call 
5522 or email margaret underscore ruff at ncsu.edu. Did you know that Buncombe County has the highest number of calls in the entire state for the tobacco quit line? Well, if you're interested in quitting smoking, the Asheville High Teens Against Tobacco Use Club is sponsoring a kick butt day in downtown Asheville this March. It's taking place on Saturday, March 21st at Pack Square Park. Registration begins at 9.30 a.m. City and county officials have been invited to show their support to end tobacco use by adults and to keep from starting the habit. To show your support or for assistance in quitting, make sure to show up. You can find more information by contacting Sarah Green, Health Specialist with Buncombe County Health and Human Services at 828-250-5205 or email sarah.green at buncombecounty.org. Now normally when you think of a library, you think of a quiet place to check out a book and read. But did you know if you had a North Carolina library card that you can download books digitally to your computer or tablet device? It's really easy. But if it doesn't sound easy to you, the Buncombe County Public Library System has a class that you should take. It will take place on Friday, March 20th at 1 p.m. The West Asheville Library is located at 942 Haywood Road. This is a hands-on workshop that goes into detail about every aspect of using the NC Digital Library, with a demonstration followed by a practice session. Bring your library card, your tablet, even a Kindle Fire, or laptop. For more information or to register, visit buncombecounty.org library or call 828-250-4750. Now, speaking of libraries, not only can you read there or read online through the library, but the library program also sponsors many events throughout the year for every age and interest. And here are a few coming up. On Saturday, March 21st at 11 a.m., the East Asheville Library is hosting a sing-along with popular children's entertainer Sonia Brooks. Best part, it's for children of all ages and it's free. On Tuesday, March 24th at 6.30 p.m., the Lester Library is hosting a cooking show with Chef Donna McCrane. Not crazy about kale? Baffled by bok choy? Learn more about these and other healthy, delicious fresh vegetables. Best part is there will be plenty of recipes and delicious dishes to share. On Wednesday, March 25th at 12 p.m., Pack Memorial Library wants to satisfy your hunger for history with guest speaker John Elliston. Local journalist and historian Elliston will open a window into Asheville as it was 100 years ago. Join him with your bag lunch as he shares the good, the bad, and the ugly with Asheville's history. On Thursday, March 26th at 2.30 p.m., the South Buncombe Skyland Library wants to invite you to their presentation of an afternoon snack with Mackenzie Lunsford. During this one-hour speaking engagement, Lunsford will talk about what it's like to be a food writer and talk about the local restaurant scene in Asheville. Every year, the Western North Carolina Regional Air Quality Agency holds an Air Quality Awards Ceremony to honor local businesses who have made green, innovative strides. So if you're a business who've made some environmentally friendly upgrades, why not let them know you could win an award? You have until Monday, March 16th to turn in your application. Applications can be found on the WNC Regional Air Quality Agency's website at buncombecounty.org air. They're looking for organizations with significant energy efficiency upgrades, lower emitting solvents and cleaners, installing renewable energy systems, and for upgrading fleet vehicles to emit less pollutants. For further questions, you can contact ashley.featherstone at buncombecounty.org or call 828-258. 2506770 The Buncombe County Sheriff's Office is sponsoring a short stack for big change program to benefit their leadership program. So if you like pancakes and helping kids have a great summer activity, which is all of us, then you should go. It will take place on Saturday, March 21st from 8 to 10 a.m. at the Fats Cafe at 5 Spartan Avenue in Asheville. The OnTrack Leadership Program offers middle school aged children leadership training and recreational activities for two weeks out of the summer. Students participating in the program are nominated by their teachers, school administration, and school resource officers. So come out and join the Sheriff's Office for a pancake breakfast for just $7 for adults. Children 6 and under eat free. To purchase tickets in advance, contact Ben Parker at 828-775-2672 
or email ben.parker at buncombecounty.org. Did you know that you could be a Crime Stopper and that you could also get a reward for your actions? All you have to do is keep an eye out for the mountains most wanted. Buncombe County Crime Stoppers is an important program that allows you, the citizens of Buncombe County, to partner with law enforcement to help keep our community safer. Your anonymous calls are very important tools to help us locate people who are wanted by authorities. I also want to personally thank you for making Crime Stoppers the most watched program on Buncombe County TV. Here are a few subjects we're looking for right now. Luther Kane Parente is a white male with brown hair and brown eyes. He is 5 foot 11 and weighs 180 pounds. His last known address, 943 Old Mars Hill Highway, Weaverville. He is wanted for possession of Schedule II controlled substance, resisting public officers, larceny of a motor vehicle, larceny of a firearm, breaking and entering, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of less than half ounce of marijuana, possession of a stolen vehicle, no operator's license, injury to personal property, hit and run, leaving the scene, and reckless driving with wanted disregard. Brittany Logan Weinstead is a white female with brown hair and hazel eyes. She is five foot nine, weighs 150 pounds. Her last known address, 355 Justice Ridge Road, Candler. She is wanted for felony larceny, misdemeanor larceny, attempted felony larceny, possession of drug paraphernalia, resisting public officers, felony possession of stolen goods and property, and failure to wear a seatbelt driving. If you know the location of any of the mounts most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email tips at buncombecounty.org or you can call Crime Stoppers at 828-255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play. If you homeschool your kids and you're looking for a great physical education class, then Buncombe County Parks and Rec has you covered every week. They take place every Friday beginning April 10th through May 29th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Buncombe County Sports Park at 58 APAC Circle in Asheville. This is open for all homeschool students from first grade through high school. There is no sign-up involved. You just show up and play. Activities include everything from soccer, basketball, bocce ball, kickball, dodgeball, volleyball, flag football, and more. For more information about these eight-week sessions, contact Jay Nelson with Parks and Rec at j.nelson at buncombecounty.org. Or you can call the Parks and Rec Department at 828-250-4260. Well, thank you for watching. That's all I've got for you for this month. To see a recap of anything I've mentioned in today's episode, just visit our website at buncombecounty.org. If you're watching this on cable and would like to see the information again or catch any of BCTV's original programs, please visit either buncombecounty.org bctv or visit buncombecounty.org youtube where we upload all of our videos. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned next month to hear about all of the great events happening in April.